Hello and welcome to another Quattro Tech Cars video. Today we have this facelifted 15 play Audi A1 S line. As you can see, it looks really, really good in the Daytona Grey Pearl Effect paint with the S line wheels. And also being the updated S line version, it's also got the LED rear lights and Xenon front lights with the LED daytime running light. This particular A1 represents fantastic value as it's the uh, updated 1.6 diesel engine. So you get a bit more power at 116 PS um, through the manual gearbox, but it's also free to tax. So it represents a really, really great proposition. Okay, so here we are around at the boot of the A1. These have surprisingly uh, good boot sizes and large capacity areas because the boot floor can actually go down and become much more flat uh, with the actual uh, bottom of the boot. Uh, just underneath there, you've also got a tire inflation kit and that's where the battery sits as well. We've got Isofix anchoring for kid seats and also uh, these neat lights as well. Uh, these are actually really good design, these outside lights. So if you have the boot open, say at the side of a busy road for any reason, um, then it's actually much more safe because uh, the oncoming cars can, can see it as obviously the rear lights will be uh, tilted upwards with the boot. This A1 comes with some great options, including uh, front and rear parking sensors, uh, as well as part of the comfort pack. So coming around to the front, we'll see what we get with that. So we've got electrically uh, adjustable and heated rear view mirrors. You've also got the ambient lighting as well in the S line. This being the three door, it's really easy. Just pull the seat forward like that. The uh, rear of the car is in extremely good condition. Indeed, you've got the half leather, half cloth interior on both the rear and the front seats. And moving into the driver's seat, We've got automatic, uh, as I said, Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights. This has the comfort pack, so you get um, light and rain sensors as well with an auto dimming rear view mirror. You also get to take advantage of the cruise control. And if we actually have the ignition on just here, then we can look at things in a bit more detail. So with the steering wheel, we've got a multifunctional uh, steering wheel with a number of buttons which help control the radio and media volume and a number of aspects with a trip computer as well. Moving over to the main screen, you've also got navigation as a factory extra as well. So SD card navigation, we've got two SD cards, that's the one with navigation on and there's also a separate slot if you wanted to upload any media and of course you've got the CD slot as well. You can take advantage of DAB FM and AM radio. There's a number of different media sources, including, as I said, that SD navigation slot, the CD, the Audi media interface, and Bluetooth as well. So you can connect your phone wirelessly. You can also connect up your phone to make and receive calls wirelessly as well. And then we can see that the menu is really easy to go through. Um, it's all uh, controlled by Audi's MMI on the A1s just down here with this, these four buttons here, and you've got the shortcuts as well. If we go into car, we've also got Audi's drive select. So you can change this on the fly. There's a button just down here for it, which cycles through efficiency, auto and dynamic. So this will change the throttle response of the A1 and also the weight of the steering feel as well. This particular A1 also comes with, um, as we said, the front and rear parking sensors. So if we press that button, you can see the car up on the display there. So you've got the Ultronic sensors uh, at the front and the rear, represented by that diagram. Those red lines at the back just there um, are actually the, the signs of objects um, when you get closer to them. So those lines move in further towards the car and the beeps that you can hear also get louder and um, much more um, uh, rapid in their progression. Moving further down, another really nice option that we have here that you don't see very op uh, very often is the upgraded climate control with these aluminium style dials. Uh, so it gives you a bit more uh, adjustability there with the air conditioning as well. Now, if we look a bit further down, as I said, we've got the rear windscreen heater, traction control, the parking sensor button, of course. When you do go into reverse, uh, they come automatically. There's the drive select scroller as well. And you've even got a 12 volt power socket to charge any ancillaries down the back as well. 
As we mentioned earlier in the video, you've got a five speed gear lever. And just overall, it's really nicely specced, this car indeed. The S lines came with the black headlining, which just make it feel really classy uh, and a bit more sporty in, uh, in my opinion as well. Now this car has actually had one private owner from you and has always been looked after by the same Audi uh, service centre and dealership. Um, so it's been very well looked after. It's also had its cam belt done around the 75,000 mark as well. So that's all good to go. All Quattro Tech cars come with six month warranty, including six months roadside assistance, an MOT upon arrival and a comprehensive mechanical check. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us so we can explain how we're currently facilitating safe, socially distanced and contactless clean collect appointments. Thank you very much.